So I'm uh, Sébastien Morvan, uh, I'm the co-founder of Brussels Beer Project and this is Wanderlust, our 8th year anniversary craft beer festival. Um, so uh, we, we're having a blast, it's just a start, it's Saturday and uh, in good company with all the you know, 14 other breweries coming from different places of the world and uh, yeah. enjoying. And it's great to be able to have again a festival, it's just such a relief. To be here, you know, COVID hurt so many people and put so many things behind, including yourselves, uh, where your plans for your new brewery and everything. So how are you personally feeling right, right now? <laughs> it feels really good and for the whole team it feels good and I'm happy to see also the people. It's back to 2019 again, you know, like it's uh, hopefully we're closing a parenthesis in some ways. Last year we still did it, uh, but small in a rooftop at Jardin. Uh, but this year we're going back to Saint Catherine, back to where the festival uh, belongs with a lot of people. It's a COVID safe ticket event. People don't have to wear masks, uh, don't, people can be around each other and enjoying beer with their friends, with their family. And, uh, and that just feels good because it's been way too long be, you know, before we had those kind of, uh, of festivals. And uh, yeah, it just feels good. Yeah, last year it was just amazing on the rooftop, the DJs. And yeah, the, the, the feeling of this festival is great. And, and it almost feels, you know, I talked to Eureka from the, who's reviving Berlin or Beast, and they all talk about you kind of friends and collabs and the kind of fostering you always did to bring things to uh, family as a kind of yeah well this uh, festival is about family as you know I, there is i think no better way to describe it be it with a community that's been following us for now almost uh, 10 years sooner or all the brewers and uh, lots of those friends we collaborated with in the past 12 months or even uh, before um, one of the last one was Bouquet Esperidos from Argentina. Uh, we have one guy from Buenos Aires in the team. He really said, ah, I really like this, uh, this brewery. We should invite them. We invited them. They were amazing people. And said, so we should collab and then even invite them for the, for the festival. So it's lots of friends from different countries again. Uh, Jackie O's as well is a brewery that we made uh, a virtual collaboration during uh, COVID on, uh, you know, on Teams or Zoom. And uh, they brewed in the morning. For us, it was in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, so um, so lots of uh, lots of fun stories uh, with uh, with them. And um, as you, as you say, it's about family at Wanderlust. Brussels Beer Project has also been. Last year, you said, "I hope that Wanderlust next year will be at our new place." Of course, we understand why, but. You're getting fermenters on Tuesday, you yeah. had a big launch and things are just about ready. What does that also feel like and where are you going? Well, I think everything is opening uh, up again. We had a huge crash test during uh, COVID and uh, I think we, we did quite okay during this crash test. The community was behind, the team was behind. Uh, of course, it was not fun times for nobody in the industry, who have friends from the Oreca, but for the brewers either uh, and for us included. But uh, we're still here. We're still you know, standing on our two feet and it uh, gives us a lot of confidence for the future uh, and now indeed everything is, uh, is getting together with a new tap room also in town in Bailly and a new brewery uh, really, really uh, you know being uh, built in front of our eyes every day is uh, changing over there so yeah it's very very exciting times for us and I think we're ready for that. New place when do you hope to move in? I was you know I was talking to a few people who were also there and you know it's such an amazing thing to have this when do you hope to really get going on on the new place. On the new brewery, 8th of December. We already have a date fixed, so it's 8th of December. It's full speed until the 8th of December. And then, of course, it will be just the beginning. Uh, no, it's uh, it's amazing. Like, uh, we are kids in the candy shop when we go there. Um, we start actually to receive some thanks. The last thanks are coming on Tuesday yeah, uh, by, by boat. Come, yeah, come yeah, around, come around. Video. Yeah, yeah. I hope you will like it. We came, we bring. We brought the, some of the brewers yesterday in the brewery. Uh, that was a very good time, and we we love to share, of course, with the community, and that's why we we are in Anderlecht, not so far away. Yeah. And, uh, and it's going to be quite quite spectacular, I think. Uh, we also have a tap room and a beer garden, so of course it's um, it will be open to uh, for people to come visit, say hello, and drink a few beers. 
uh, we have plenty of capacity uh, also to grow and we make uh, you know about all the different beers actually and I guess you hope to bring all production events indeed and more and we can bring all the production and double we can bring everything and double so we have really room to play and uh, yeah. full control over the whole and full control and uh, and full fun <laughs> out of it as well excellent well, well thank you so much uh, my pleasure my pleasure and uh, see you soon